let's slow down. Let's take a minute. Let's look at this little sketch and see what's here. We have the big wiggly circle. It's the biome of the whole planet. And we have the little wiggly circle, the biome of you. And between the two are little messengers, bacteria, viruses, and spores. Maybe we should just call them biomail. So what's happening with this? You have about 36 trillion cells in your body. They're operating at a pace of about 200,000 exchanges of information per second inside each cell. So let's times those two, and you got about 10 to the 17th trillion. So that's trillion cell bandwidth. 10 to the 17th? That's a lot of information packing packed in there. How does it get there? How do all those bacteria, spores, and virus messages get into you? Take a breath. Every hundred breaths. Every hundred breaths. 1.7 to 4 million virus particles go into your body, 50% of which nobody can identify. That's a lot of particles. And what do they do? They communicate with the mitochondria police. <laughs> yeah. So this dialogue is going on while your poor little ego just sits off in Netherland, thinking of ideas, dancing through its head, moving from the kitchen into the bedroom, and thinking that this little feeble sense eight world of yours is all. Nope. That's not what's happening. Because the other level of communication between the Earth's biome and your biome is going on much faster than you can imagine. The human mind only can come up with a thought like every four seconds because you have to choose words and put words and string them together and make a sentence. Now computers, computers, they operate at maybe 10 to the ninth hertz or cycles per second. Your brain operates as a, at a quarter of a cycle per second. Computers seem to be a lot smarter, but your cells are communicating with the biome at 10 to the 17th times per second. Pretty amazing. Lots of complexity. There are ways to get in touch.